briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a pivotal case that argued the state's need to conclusively demonstrate a defendant's willful waiver of legal counsel, Robert Williams, murmurously accused of killing 10-year-old Pamela Powers in Iowa, was slated for a new trial following high court intervention. This move came after Williams was questioned by a detective sans the presence of his attorney, a fact that raised eyebrows over the alleged denial of his right to legal representation. The backdrop of the case dates back to December 24, 1968, when Pamela accompanied her family to a wrestling tournament at the YMCA, but went missing after a trip to the washroom. Subsequent searches yielded no clues to her whereabouts. In a suspicious twist, Williams, an escapee from a mental hospital who was staying at the same YMCA, was reportedly spotted with a blanket-wrapped bundle. Witnesses testified observing two slender white legs dangling from the bundle as Williams took off in a car, leaving behind the automobile, abandoned in Davenport, Iowa. This led to authorities issuing an arrest warrant for Williams on the charges of abduction. Following an initial guilty verdict for the crime, a lower court formally endorsed the conviction on the grounds that Williams had knowingly waived his right to counsel during a car ride to Des Moines. Notably, this ride culminated in Williams making incriminating statements. Despite the support of four dissenting justices arguing for a more compelling display of intentional waiver, it was the Iowa Supreme Court that proved instrumental in reinforcing this decision. However, the trajectory of the case shifted as higher courts stepped in, stating the evidence in question was improperly admitted in Williams' trial. The Federal District Court and the Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit affirmed this viewpoint, pointing to the constitutional right to the assistance of counsel guaranteed by the Sixth and Fourteenth Amendments that Williams was ostensibly denied. The Supreme Court eventually upheld the decision of the lower courts, further asserting that Williams was unlawfully denied his constitutional right to legal counsel and therefore granted him a retrial. This significant ruling underscores the indispensable right of a defendant to legal representation in such grave cases, and the need for such right to be known, understood, and explicitly waived for it to become null and void. The Supreme Court's move marked a robust reaffirmation of this constitutional guarantee, rendering any violation unjustifiable, though state officials may face pressures in administering criminal law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.